Sebs, who we got? I guess we'll find out. Next up, the mystery athlete whose name has yet to be revealed. What's your name? Huh? One more time. Jace? That's a cool name. And a cool haircut. You got this. All right, Jace up on the starting platform. Getting ready to continue the Mature Kids division run. And this has proven to be a very strong division in the past. And it's one of those things where getting a full clear does not guarantee you podium. Jace, a little bit far left, but able to hit that reset button. What the? He didn't really need that rope, it appears. Jace also using tremendous reach. Very dynamic moves here. Now on to the oversized trapeze bar. Winds it up, kicks it through. And again, just sheer, sheer display of power. And with that, he will definitely be saving himself some time by taking such little amounts of swings. Again, in a division like this, time matters. Jace going straight for the reach. Big wind up on the cannonball. Easily land solid on the dismount. Slight miss on the ring. Decides to go for the cannonball on the chandelier instead. Ooh. And then controls the cannonball. Now onto the ring. And Jace. So far, making good use of his power. Now over to Pipe Alley. Again, to clarify, uh, just like last time, rules are the same. You cannot use an open palm or hand facing forward to push the pipes out of the way, let alone grab them. But you are more than welcome to backhand them, kick them, elbow them, headbutt those pipes out of the way. Jace is just... He's going for speed and completion, which again, in this division, is what you will have to do. Now line up to go, on sideways. Now Jace, onto the trapeze bar. And now all he has to do is get these last sets of holds before finishing it off with the warp wall. And again, with his kind of leg power, I guarantee you he's gonna get up that warp wall. Now Jace. Cruising into that dismount, sticks the dismount, and just chops it straight up to the warp wall, up and over, full send, back to back.